and they'll have to wait three more years before the stink disappears. Wainui residents have been pleading with the council to get a new treatment system to stop sewerage from overflowing into Akaroa Harbour, but they've been told it's simply not a priority. Jared McCulloch reports. It was a tough decision for the Christchurch City Council, proposing to continue on with Phase 2 of the area's wastewater scheme. But it's not going to begin anytime soon, with the council voting against immediate action and reviewing the options to combat the problem. This has been an ongoing issue for Wainui residents. Back in May 2013, the wastewater from 34 properties was diverted from Akaroa Harbour to council-owned land. However, since the Canterbury earthquakes, plans had stalled with the council books being in the red, delaying the vital part of stage two to go forth. Being missed from the original draft long-term plan process, concerned people in the area shared their thoughts with the council. The septic tanks do leak, and when a large storm events, they overflow and they go into the harbour. The big problem I can see in Wainui is uh, maintenance of the septic tanks. You know, a lot of properties change hands, and when they change hands, the new property owners don't know anything about septic tanks. Now, they have to be maintained, which means they have to be cleaned between three and five years, have to be completely cleaned out. At that time, many councillors pushed to see this resolved, with a $7 million project to go ahead and continue stage two. But one councillor wasn't convinced all options had been exhausted. Council has continually over, I think the, 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 the time frame is 20 years, said that at some stage this is going to happen. And now we are in a totally different situation. We've had a major natural disaster we're, and we're still saying the same thing. So I'm, I'm just wondering, I haven't seen anything that council staff had have been given direction to maybe look at options. Option 3 was likely to go forth today to continue with Stage 2 as planned, which would see construction take place at the start of July this year. However, many councillors were in favour of Option 1 to create a cost-sharing agreement with the 66 full-time residents to pay for new pumps and connections to the council's main line pressure pump. And some of the local body representatives were all for the scheme to begin development immediately but were more in favour of a shared proposal. I think they should be paying something towards this. I'd actually prefer they'd be paying the lot. Uh, but, you know, some kind of cost sharing, I think, uh, is absolutely appropriate. I think there should be some sort of cost sharing arrangement. Um, I, I think it's really unfair that for a, a small amount of people, the burden is placed on all the ratepayers. I think that's actually unfair. When we talk, when we hear a talk of um, overflows and pits overflowing, etc., that's personal responsibility. Mm -hmm. And we, people do have to take an element of that themselves, and it just seems to be lacking here. However, 10 of the 14 councillors voted against the option of continuing with the current scheme, voting instead to explore other alternatives. Now residents will have to wait until 2018 for any action to take place. Jared McCulloch, CTV News.